From the lifeguard scandal to police misconduct, it can be difficult to expose, in part because of the so-called blue coat of silence among officers. But what if a computer model could detect misconduct without a whistleblower ever coming forward? CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live. And Megan, researchers at Northwestern University say they've done just that. Right, Erica, and those researchers say it's not about identifying a few bad apples. It's about looking at police misconduct as a group activity. And they said they'd offered to share those findings with the Chicago Police Department. We complain, we complain, we complain. Wrote letters, did everything. Nobody listened. For years, the CBS2 investigators have been tracking the misconduct allegations connected to Chicago Police Sergeant Ronald Watts and a group of more than 10 officers. You say you're trying to shoot? I killed. More recently, CBS2 investigator Brad Edwards exposed years of alleged misconduct by Officer James Hunt. Don't try to film me, dude, all right? Who bragged on camera about killing someone. So in a lot of the cases that we know, there's usually one or two kind of ringleaders and people kind of rally around them. Andrew Papacristo, a professor of sociology at Northwestern University, says that while individual officers might make the headlines. You can't just look at one a cop. You have to look at the, the, the groups around them because the chances are it's not just them. It's, it's a unit or a group or a crew that we sort of found. His team, in coordination with the Invisible Institute, analyzed complaint and arrest data on Chicago police officers from 1971 to 2018 with the help of a computer model, comparing them to known groups of problem officers, including Watts and his crew. Their model found at least 160 other possible crews of bad actors within the department. And while they represent less than 4% of all officers, they account for 25% of all use of force complaints, 27% of all city payouts for civil and criminal litigation, and 23% of all police-involved shootings. Papa Christos cautions that his model does not determine guilt, but it does highlight groups of officers that CPD should be looking into. Is we have to reevaluate this culture of policing where the worst thing you can do is, you know, turn in a friend who's engaging in criminal behavior. Papa Cristo says he has been in touch with the Chicago Police Department about his findings. We did reach out to CPD for comment and to ask if they would use this computer model in the future. And Erica, we're still waiting for a response. All right, Megan Hickey, thank you.